Okay, everyone. Well, here's a look at the end of the tie beam. And if you look at the tenon in relationship to the tie beam itself, and even, you know, the reduced housing cut on, well, you're looking at it upside down, so the bottom of the tie beam, you can see why I call this the funhouse tie beam. It's going to look pretty funny in the frame. If you look down it, you'll see the corkscrew in it and the housings for those braces and the brace pockets are actually square or in line on the same plane as these tenons so they're not even going straight through the beam in relationship to the beam face well we got that tie beam pretty much complete um, it's kind of a fun house tie beam it looks pretty funny with those joints cut like that and and those tenons cattywampus like that that's going to look pretty crooked in the frame i think but you know i guess if, as long as the joinery is straight i guess we should be good um it's not ideal but you know i don't have a lot of beams <clears throat> laying around and the sawmill that cut them for me you know i wouldn't have any more from him until the leaves were turning so in the interest of time, we're just going to use what we have. I'm going to go ahead and cut those housings tomorrow for the floor joists with a router. I had to make a new jig because of the new base on the router. But we'll cut those tomorrow and then hopefully maybe get to some braces. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And we'll see you guys next time.